Welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So, guys, I said I was going to do a pickup video because I've been picking stuff up from the charity shop. Uh, you would have seen I picked up a bag for £5 full of stuff. Uh, I've gone a little bit crazy, to be fair, with the charity shops because there's just been so much decent stuff out there at the moment for me. So I'm just picking it up. And it's got to the point now where I am going to do. So I've gone past a couple of CEXs and it looks like the CEXs are getting some decent bits and pieces. And I have tried to sell a few pieces in the past on eBay. And it's always great when you get a bit more money than what you expect for certain items. And you put that money back into the collection. Uh, but I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to take some of the bits I'm picking up now where I'm picking them up for next to nothing. And I'm going to trade in a few pieces in CEX and just see what I can get. And plus, it's not, there's no hassle. That's the main bit. I can just go and do it. Uh, so yes, let's go through what I've picked up. So firstly, the first shout out is to Toy Planet UK. And when I say Toy Planet UK, guys, sorry, just very quickly, this video has got everything in it. So it's got books, DVDs, games, games, toys, everything. So everything's in it. So sorry, back to this. So first pickup. So this was an online through Facebook, uh, a Facebook group. Toy Planet UK. I brought loads of stuff from Lawrence in the past. He always has quirky little bits and pieces. But what I picked up uh, last week, end of last week, picked up uh, some X-Men Pocket Comics. Uh, so these remind me of Mighty Max, your mini turtle play sets. And I've kind of got a thing for these mini play sets now. So I've been picking up quite a few of them. So you'll know from my past videos, I've got boxed Mighty Max. I've got most of the loose Mighty Max sets. And I want something a little bit quirky and different to go with them. So I have pre-ordered uh, through I Remember These, uh, which I need to pay for, is the Mini Turtle playset. So one of the Mini Turtle playsets. And they have stepped up massively in price. I don't think you can pick one up for under £100, uh, just for a sealed one. However, these are more on the cheaper side. So I picked these up for £15 each. I thought they were a bargain and they're definitely pure 90s madness. But yeah, so I picked up this one first. There's four in season one uh, in terms of the play sets. And then there's four in season two. There's only ever two seasons they brought out of these. So I have three from season one. So I've got the Omega and Wolverine. I've got Sabretooth and Wolverine. Let's put that one down and it kind of gives you a bit of an overview of what other ones you can get. Sabretooth and Wolverine. Loving that one. That's the biggest kind of clash in the 90s wasn't it especially in the animated tv series which these are based on and then cyclops and magneto so i got three of the play sets 15 pound each i was happy with those they're going to look lovely displayed with the mighty max and the mini turtles so that's what i've kind of picked up from uh, a facebook group everything else you're going to see now is charity related so i need to make sure what piles i've had these in so i can be correct with the prices that i paid so this is correct here so ugh, this whole bag whole bag five pound five pound for the whole bag i'm happy with that so let's go through this bag first because there's a lot to go through and i'll go as quick as i can conscious of time uh but yeah firstly so five pound for the whole bag so i don't mind what i'm putting in there when it's five pound so and i know some of these won't have great value but carmen san diego on the pc if i'm gonna pick that up uh, don't know much about these, but they're gaming related, so I thought I'm going to pick them up. They look pretty old school as well. Picture, picture place. I'm not even going to pronounce that one, but yeah, from Sesame Street, that one. But yeah, the electronic company, so I picked those up. And they have some old school discs as well. I remember looking at these and thinking, not so much this. Throw that in your PC. What? So yes, uh, pick those up as part of the bundle. You're gonna have some deep, you're just gonna have randomness. So I did pick this up, Realms of Realms of the Haunting. I just thought it looked quite nice in a double case for PC. I don't think it goes for much, but it looks like one of those role-playing games, which I will definitely enjoy. Uh, so I picked that up. And then Buck Rogers, season one and two. So they were in there. I thought these would have, so I didn't have my phone on me when I was obviously going through bits and pieces for this bundle. Uh, I thought these would have had a much bigger sell-on value or even if I was to trade them in CEX. I don't think they do. Uh, so I might just keep those because of the retro kind of related pieces with Buck Rogers. So I will more than likely keep those in my collection. Uh, then I picked up, again, didn't have my phone on me when I was doing this, but PlayStation 3, The Elder Scrolls 4. I, I think this is an add-on piece. Uh, but the disc is in there, so I picked that up. Dragon Age, picked that up as well. Now, if, you, if you're like me, 
you know, born in the 80s, kind of grew up, I might as well say born in the 80s, grew up in the 90s. Uh, you definitely know about Filofax. Everyone will know about Filofax. This book was just in there randomly. I thought there would have been loads of others. Because uh, usually when you come across these, you might come across the folder and a few more of the books. But you used to get a Filofax folder and you'd basically take these pages, you'd have to rip them out and put them into your binder. Uh, and I remember kids, especially when I was in school, we're going crazy for this. We'd always be down trying to buy these books for £1.50. There was dinosaurs, there was stickers, there was TV shows, there was aliens, monsters, everything and anything to put in your Filofax. Uh, but yeah, pick that up because that brought back great memories. Sealed as well. Uh, Marvel calendar from for this year. So I need to open that and I will put that up in the outbuilding. So I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm going to put that down there because that will be going back up. That won't be going in here. And then again, guys, loads of manga books. Uh, so I put out the first lot, which was Priest. Absolutely loads of these. So I think this is one to, I want to say one to five. And I think there is another one in here, which is a random like issue nine. Yeah, one to five here. I've got one to five of Priest here. So I'm happy with those. That just going to the manga. Pokemon Adventures, number one. That was in there as well. Then we've got some graphic novels. Uh, and I've got the comics to some of these. So you've got Saga, which I know goes for a bit. So I've got that. Uh, the Wicked and the Divine. Got that. And then another one here. So I've got two of those. Uh, obviously different ones, but two of those. I just want to put the Saga one at the top because I think there's some value in that. So I'll leave that there. And then, yeah, here you go. Here's the other priest. So, and this is a strange one. In a charity shop, book six. Uh, but it's a library book. It's a library book. Uh, it's come from Hackney Library. Don't know how it's got all the way down here, but Hackney, Li Hackney Library, and it was last taken out in 2010. So someone didn't bring that back, and now it's in my possession, so I've got that. Uh, these ones, I don't know what this is, but I've got one to three of these. Uh, so yeah, for you guys there. Someone might be able to put in the comments. But yeah, I'm, just, I'm loving picking up these anime books. I know there's value in them as well. Uh, I more than likely won't get rid of them because I have a huge collection of Star Wars books that I used to collect from the 90s and X-Men books. Uh, I used to read loads of them as the movies finished and I was more intrigued to see where the the, expand, the expanded universe of Star Wars would go. So I've got a lot of Star Wars books in terms of... Uh, Ed, is it Heir to the Empire? Uh, lots of the Bounty Hunter ones, Dark Saber. Oh, I've got loads of them, but yeah, uh, that was kind of my 90s growing up. And then I've got these books as well which I think is the same name as what we just had on the last one, but a yellow set here. Uh, so yeah, what's that in there? And there's a bookmark in here as well, which is fine. You never know, because sometimes people put money in books for some reason. I've had it before where money's fallen out. Uh, but yeah, so pick those up. They were part of the bundle deal as well. Another book, a number one there. But yeah, lots of anime. Anime, shouldn't really say manga, more anime. Uh, and then yes, then there were some PlayStation 2 games. This is where it gets interesting. So with all the hype about the movie of a Mortal Kombat, there was an Mortal Kombat game there, Mortal Kombat for PlayStation 2, so I picked that up. Uh, happy with that. Devil May Cry 2, I picked that up. I know I've already got it. I don't think it's got a good sell-on value either, uh, but I picked that up. Picked this one up as well. Again, I think I've got it, uh, but I picked it up because it was just all everything in the bag for £5, so I thought there's no point me trying to think if I got it or if I'm not. Just put it in and put it in the bundle and get it. Uh, time splitters one and two. So I've got one of them. I can't remember which one I've got and what I haven't got. So I picked them both up, threw them in there. And then mostly the one that's the most, and I don't have, and people were absolutely brutal when I didn't pick this up at a car boot, when it was in one of my original, uh, I think that one of the original first four car boots uh, videos that I've done, but the guy just wouldn't come back to me on the price. So I ended up just walking past. But I got at last Simpsons hit and run on the PlayStation 2. So that's part of the deal, part of the five pound for the bag as well. Everything's going to be there, if not in some of the books, and mostly the Immortal Kombat game, but yes. Uh, so I've done well, I've done well. But most of that will be going into my collection. I don't know why I picked this up. Uh, I used to like the OC growing up, and I hadn't seen whatever this was before, and I thought, you know what? It's part of the deal, I'm going to throw it in there. Uh, so I picked up this OC. Never seen this before, but yeah, all the discs are in there. Oh, oh. The bonus disc has fallen out. This, right, right, I have to make sure it goes in there. But yeah, I'll go through that later. But yeah, so picked up the OC in this uh, special container. Quite nice. Give it a bit of a clean. That can go out on my collection. And then I tried to pick up some 
uh, DVDs that I've mostly put into my collection are Cass, so I picked that up, don't have that on Blu-ray. Kentucky Fried Movie, never ever seen this, I don't even know what it's about. But as soon as you say Kentucky Fried Chicken or anything else, I'm on it, it's mine. So yeah, pick that up. I don't even know, I bet it's got nothing to do with chicken at all. It's not even chicken, I don't know why I keep saying chicken. As soon as you say Kentucky Fried, you just think of chicken straight away. But yeah, I didn't even read the back guys. I just picked it up, I picked it up, not for the chicken quotes. Uh, but yeah, picked it up, it looked quite fresh as well, I've never seen it before, so I picked that up. Uh, give that a watch. Don't judge me. This was on Blu-ray, and I don't have this on Blu-ray, and I tend to just pick up Blu-rays to try and build the collection. Uh, Stripper's First Werewolves. What can I say? Let's just leave it there. And then I hadn't seen this one before, but Spider-Man, Once Upon a Time, a superhero, and it looks like it gives you a bit of an overview of uh, Spider-Man history, I think I, and I don't have that, so I thought I'd put that in the collection. I want to say finally, I don't know what's, oh no, 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 there's more. So, a bag, and they said I could have these for nothing, so I just put them in there anyway. But a bag of VHS's come up. There wasn't anything particularly good in there. However, I took a bit of a gamble picking up the music concert one, so I picked up Queen. These are dusty as well. Picked up Guns N' Roses. And then gun, there was another Guns N' Roses, two different videos, but picked that up. The Blefford. Pick that up. An Iron Maiden. So I picked that up as well. So they were free. Uh, and I weren't too sure if they have some value. And then the other big, big pieces that I picked up there at the bottom here. So these were going to go in the bin, guys. So I just picked them up. Uh, and I told them the value of these a couple of weeks ago and said, look, you need to put them out for at least 20 to 30 pound each. And then when I went in, when I went in there, like the next day, they were sitting in the rubbish pile. Like, because I can see their bin from when I'm in the charity shop. And I was like, oh, you're getting rid of them. They went, oh, yeah, we're not going to sell them. We're not going to bother with them. And I thought, but there's there's money there. There's money there. Why are you not getting rid of them? And I thought, I'm not going to let, I'm one of these ones. I'm not going to let stuff go in the bin. Not that if it can come home with me. I know people are saying, oh, because Scott will bring it home and store it. But even if, I don't even mind giving it to someone that wants it, because I've done that before. Or if it's got, if it's got a sell-on value and they're not going to get rid of it, I'd rather sell it to someone that wants it. So it's going to be preserved. Uh, but this is, so this is from the, these are from the 70s, and it's a magazine called Bike. Uh, and you can see here, January 1977. So they're in the binder. And guys, there's so many of the magazines in here. Uh, look, there's another one there. Bike, 90, uh, February. So this is January, February, so it goes all the way through. Every magazine, September 77, December 77. So it's the whole year of 77. There you go. It's a whole binder from January, January 77 of the magazine Bike. To December 77 all there so 77 there and I, I don't know why they were gonna throw them away I even showed them because uh, I couldn't really see the value when I was looking on eBay of what a folder would go through but I was telling them the magazines are going for six to eight to ten pound each and they just put them in the bin pile uh, and then there's another one here which is uh, January 81 so this might this I'm assuming this folder is all the way yeah all the way to 81 so January all the way to December 81 bike as well now I don't know what they go for I told them to put them from 20 to 30 I think you'll get more than that from I don't know why they just didn't price them out and put them in the window it might be because they think they haven't got the customers or the clientele that are coming particularly to look at the motorbike folders but I don't know why they just wouldn't throw them online because no doubt that's where people that like that kind of stuff would look uh, so yes yeah, so I've left that so that was done so that was that was everything for the five pound bag now, another piece that happened was I popped out Saturday and I got two lots. So the first charity shop I went to, I always go there and I always ask them if they've got any games out in the back because they've got loads of bits and pieces. They had no games. They had some Blu-rays on sale. And usually I don't pay too much for Blu-rays, don't mind, but I saw, and I don't have this in my Blu-ray uh, collection. Don't judge me again, but I'm building it. Titanic. Uh, it's the four discs. Yeah, it's four discs in there. Over six hours of extras, Jesus, is that? It's got to be like three hours of Jack trying to get on that door, surely, because uh, there's definitely enough room for him on there, which I've said before in the past. But yeah, 3D collection in there for three pound. That's fine. I think the sell-on value is better than that. But I'll put it into my collection. And then I have this already, and I've done well when I've got rid of these in the past. I'm not too sure how they price this up, but they priced up Lord of the Rings for two pound. I think they think this is one movie. This has got all of them on there. Uh, and there's loads of different variants of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but this has got all this has got all of them on Blu-ray. 
Uh, I usually do quite well, you know, anything, I think you get anywhere from six to 10 pound for it. So I picked that up, might just, well, I will end up flipping that because I've already got one of those. Uh, but yeah, that will stay in my collection. And then you would have seen that, I'll give you a bit of a sneak preview. So this was from a charity shop as well, two pound for this whole bundle. So I know, and I said this before, I know Danger Mouse goes for a bit more, a lot more than that. So I picked that up. Uh, Airwolf season two sealed, got that. And then the real Ghostbusters. So I haven't started watching it. I promised that I'd start watching it from this week, from this weekend, but I haven't. Uh, but this is definitely one I will be watching. Two discs. I'm loving that. I didn't even know they had that. Uh, so that's there as well. So that's it. Right, I forgot to show you this pile. Then, so I thought, I rarely go into this charity shop. So it's a, like an animal shelter charity shop. And I've always gone in there in the past and it's been the same stuff. And the people that run the shop They've always, they've always, uh, so they won't rotate anything. They won't get rid of anything in the shop. So they, they would rather say, they put signs on the door saying no donations. They don't want any donations. Uh, but the stuff in the shop isn't selling. So you go in there and it's always the same stuff. Always the same stuff. However, since lockdown, it's like they've taken everything out of the shop and they've redone it all. Uh, and I don't know if that's so it's easier for people to walk around. Uh, but they had a number of DVDs, loads of DS games, but nothing that I wanted, more of the cook-along uh, games and nothing that I wanted, nothing of value either. But randomly, I don't really pick this stuff up in there, guys, but I need a plug uh, for my hard drive, which has got every single TV show on there, movie that isn't on, released on Blu-ray or DVD. So the plug's gone in it, so I've picked the plug up and then I picked up the wire that goes from that hard drive into a USB as well. So that was 50p for those two. Uh, I picked up strawberry shortcakes for a pound uh, that's got a better sell-on value, and I'm, I was going to sell that on. I'm not too sure at the moment, because uh, I haven't got it in my DS collection, but I might just sell that on. Again, don't know if I'm going to get rid of this one, but... Uh, so, yeah, so that was a pound, 50p, pound fifty. Then, their DVDs and Blu-rays, weirdly as what it sounds, it's 10 for a pound. So, there's never really any decent DVDs or Blu-rays. I picked up five, and they charged me 50p. 50p for this bundle here. Uh, so I picked up Ready or Not, which has got a decent sell-on value at CEX. Uh, but I do like the movie and I don't have it. So I'm more than likely to just put that into my collection because I think it is a good watch. Uh, and then I picked up some Blu-rays. I'm flipping them all. I'm flipping them all. I don't want them. Uh, so I thought this one was worth more. And for some reason, when I've checked it, it's only worth two quid. So not too sure what I'm going to do with this yet. Uh, but Bait, that was there. Burning was there. These are Blu-rays now. Uh, Winter Kills, that was there, and then Secret Ceremony, again, and these are kind of like those independent companies that you get DVDs from, like Arrow, etc., 88 Films, uh, so as soon as I saw them, I, I didn't even need to look, I thought, right, actually, given who they're made by and they're kind of these world-related films, there's going to be some value in them, even if I take when I take them to CEX uh, to trade them in, so I picked all those for the trading, so they will literally all be being traded in. Uh, so that was it and then today today i've been back out just to check the charity shops very quickly and got a bag of bits and pieces uh so i will show you what's in here quickly so because i know how much i've paid for these these were yes right right so they were three pound so this bundle here was three pound and the reason it is three pound is the videos like I say to you, VHS is just go straight in the bin. So I pretty much got these ones for free. But this is, I had this as a kid uh, and I lost mine, but now I've got one back. So it's the Star Wars trilogy, uh, the limited edition box set on VHS. And this is before they done the changes. So you know where they put the added scenes on at the end and they cleared up the picture. So the this is the original one that I wanted. And then I've got the one on VHS, which is the gold box set as well, which has got the changes and the, Altern not the alternative ending, but the added ending for the uh, Return of the Jedi. So I'm happy with that. That's staying with me, and I love the way that looks. Uh, these will get traded in if they're decent trading. Just Dance. Just Dance free. Harry Potter DVD box set. Uh, all eight discs. I think that's got about a £14 trading. And considering I've paid for the whole lot, I think it was three quid. Uh, yeah, I'm trading that in. And then this was just for me, you know, my love of the 80s, 80s music. Uh, this was in there as well. And I think it's got like, I think it's 12 discs of pure 80s music. That will literally go in my CD player during the week while I'm just working and I have music on in the background. So that is literally to keep me entertained. 
So that was that was it from that cherry shot. And then, so this is an interesting one. So, growing up all my life in Catford, so Lewisham, a borough of Lewisham, Catford, which is southeast. Uh, and it was strange because one of my mates had put on yesterday that Ed Sheeran at the moment is doing his video, his new music video in Catford. There's a lot of pictures, and I went down there today because I had to pop to my mum's anyway. Uh, went down there, and they're still there. They're still setting up all the filming, loads of security everywhere. Looks like he's going to do some weird stuff going over the top of the little shopping centre. I say shopping centre, it's not really a shopping centre, a little bit of a high street. He's going to do some like walking across from one side of the shopping centre to the other. Uh, but I did check out the charity shops there because I always go in there and there's never much, but there's one charity shop that's there that I always get lucky with PS1 games. So they just put them out with the CDs and they're always there. My brother sometimes goes there because he's obviously still living at home. So here go then go, I picked up one PSP game like track and field. So whenever I go now, it seems to do quite well. And some of the, and the charity shops in there, around the Catford area, have a good selection of uh, VHSs as well. Uh, so that's another reason why I go in there, because you can pick up some really good cartoon ones. But yes, went in there. PS1 games. I was like, get in there, and they're all a pound each. So I just picked up everything, because uh, you're not going to get it. But Ridge Racer Type 4, one pound. Brian Lara's Cricket, one pound. Time Crisis Pro Project Team, one pound. Oh yeah, they're in there. I was gonna say, I checked, I've never said I checked all of them. Crime Killer, one pound. Filter, one pound. And then this is a random one, but I picked it up, cause don't have it for my PS collection. Superstar Dance Club, number one hits. So yes, six pounds, sorry, six pounds, six there. So they are a pound each. I'm happy to spend all day a pound on PlayStation 1 games. You just don't see them around anymore. They're getting harder and harder to source. So yeah, that is it in terms of, is there anything else, Scott? Have I missed anything? That is everything. So yeah, for me, the best pickups are going to be definitely Ghostbusters, because this is my childhood right here. Uh, and definitely Simpsons Hit and Run and the Immortal Kombat game. Followed by, because I just want to get a nice collection of these little play sets. Like the Mighty Maxes, you know, the uh, Turtles and these X-Men. So I more than likely will pick up the last one to complete uh, the Season 1 of these. I don't know if I'll pick up Season 2. They're hard to get in the UK. I've seen three of them in America, but they seem like they're bloody hard to source. Uh, let's just concentrate on the first four because I'm still doing Bucky O'Hare as well. Uh, so yes, that's where I am. That is everything, guys. Thanks for watching. It's very quick. I say very quick, I'm hoping it's under 30 minutes. Very quick pickup video. I am at the boot sale tomorrow with Tom uh, from Bizarre Race Pieces. Obviously, Tom's been on a little bit of a... Uh, well, no, no, let's not say that. Tom's going to pick up some toys tomorrow. We're going to make sure Tom picks up some toys tomorrow. Uh, so I will be there with Tom. I will be mainly looking for gaming stuff. I'm hoping to pick up some toys. I'm hoping Tom doesn't want some and he might go, here you go, pass them my way. But I am walking around with a... Uh, with Tom from Zoro Pieces. He's madly into his toys, so it's only rightly so. If we see any toys, Tom will be picking those up first, and it he will have first dibs on those because Tom will do the same if there's any gaming uh, bits and pieces, and he's been kind to me over my last boot sale videos. You would have seen. He's passed me a PSP that he found, which was like, worked out to be something like 50p uh, that I paid for it at the boot sale. Any gaming stuff here, just pass over to me. So I'm going to return the favour. I'm going to bring the luck. Uh, God, I hope this pays out. Uh, and we're going to find loads of toys tomorrow for Tom. And then if you go over to Bizarro's Pieces and you see his boot sale pickup video, you'll see that he just have absolute uninundated of toys. So check out his video and you'll see how he got on there. But no doubt he will be in my video. I'll be filming the whole lot uh, live at the boot sale. And it is the first time this boot sale is on this year. It hasn't been on for a year. Uh, and it's, it's huge. It's huge. There's always a mixture of stuff at this one. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that boot sale video. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please leave your thoughts, comments below. I will definitely get back to you. Uh, yeah, and stay safe. Like I always say, stay safe. And no doubt a video will be out very shortly. Just keep pumping these out at the moment because there's so much great stuff about. So yes, thanks for watching. Take care.